Make a side here and I'm back with another video. Today I'm going to be showing you guys how I achieve my deep conditioning routine as well as the lock method. But before we hop into this video, please feel free to hit the subscribe button if you aren't already subscribed. And um, if you want to see how I achieve this look, well it's not even a look, it's just a routine. <laughs> if you want to see my routine, then just keep on watching. So this is how my hair looks when it's uh, freshly washed. Um, it's like semi curly. I think it's more so it gets curlier in the back than it does in the front. Like I'm trying to get my hair to be like ratio, like, you know, even because in the front it's like really, really coarse. I don't know, but it's, it's, you know, manageable, but the back is way more soft than the front. I'm not even sure like why, but I'm working on it, honey. I am working on it. Get started on my deep conditioning routine. I'm going to use Hollywood Beauty olive oil uh, cholesterol, and this is really good. It's like super, super creamy, and I'm going to mix it with my conditioning, my OGX conditioning milk. Looks like this, um, and I'm just going to mix those two together and section my hair off in fours. And um, yeah, let's get started. <music> section off into fours. I'm gonna go ahead and start with the back first. And um, I just sectioned this off like pretty even. Um, it doesn't really have, I didn't really care about like the parts precisely, but I made sure that the hair was like even, you know, on both sides. But I'm gonna go ahead and start on this side and I'm just gonna show you guys how much I apply. <music> I just finished this little section right here as you guys can see the back of my hair though like the very back has a total different texture than the front I'm not even sure why I've been trying to figure this out but um yeah these curls are like I don't know they popping but this isn't the texture of my entire head I wish but it's not but um yeah I'm trying to get my hair to like be one be a unit and not go against each other you see that you see what I'm saying but um yeah whatever I'm getting it there I'm just gonna put a flat twist in my head just so that way I can work on the rest of my hair so I'm just flat twisting it and then I'm gonna put the clamp back on the ends and then work on the rest of my hair. And do the same thing I did to the back and put stuff I'm gonna be doing more massaging in my head than I did the back. I did massaging in the back, but I don't really need that much attention that I do to the front. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. Now that my 
head is fully conditioned. I'm gonna take these two like clear caps. I got these from the Dollar Tree and I believe it came with like 10 of them in like the pack for a dollar. So I just, you know, put two on at a time. I just literally put it on like this and then I double it because of course my head is pretty enormous. So yeah, I just put two on. But um, I, I literally let this sit. I'm actually going to, yeah, I'm gonna keep the clips on because it's a little, it was a little uncomfortable at first, but I'm just gonna leave this on for 30 minutes and then I'll be back to show you guys the results. So my 30 minute timer has just went off and I'm gonna show you guys what it looks like underneath all these layers. I went, just went ahead on and put my bonnet on over it just to absorb more heat because of course it's gonna absorb heat with the clear ones on, but just to give it more heat, I just added on put my body on I'm gonna show you guys it's not completely dry and that's completely okay but I didn't want it to be like on there for a long period of time I'm just gonna show you guys like what it looks like finished washing my hair and um, it's looking better than it was before <laughs> um, right now I'm just looking like Goku anyways um, I'm going to moisturize my hair with a lot of body um, love me this is like the styling cream but it's detangling and conditioning heat protection adds moisture and shine prevents splits in tame frizz for relaxed or natural hair but you know, we don't do relaxes over here. So we're just gonna, you know, use the um, thing. And I got these off of the Lotto Body, um, you know, foaming, uh, like the foam or whatever. And I just like the way it treats my hair. And I'm gonna use the Hoboba, Hoba oil to oil it once I, um, you know, moisturize it. So yeah, and I'm also gonna be using a leave-in conditioner.
for flat twist in my head and I kind of like left out like a little curl I don't know but um yeah this is the end of this tutorial I'm gonna let this uh, lock method sit in my head for at least 45 minutes to an hour I just like to get it dry enough so that way I'm able to style my hair and put the other products in it but um yeah it's gonna I'm gonna go ahead I'll probably put on my little you know clear cap again just to you know lock in that heat and moisture just to double the moisture because honey I need all the moisture I can get but thank you guys so so much for watching this video I hope that you guys enjoyed it as always please feel free to subscribe while you're here and I hope that you guys learned something from this and maybe can use this same method as I use for my deep conditioning routine as well as my the lock method and um, if you use this method before please comment below and also if you guys want to see how I style my hair once the lock method is you know complete and sealed in please feel free to comment that below as well and um thank you guys for watching again see you guys in the next video bye